talk Today's talk. video was not actually planned. What I intended to do was to plug in my MIDI keyboard and show you how easy it is to, to set up the keyboard with Mixcraft. But instead, I, I ran into some problems and it didn't work. So what I want to do this time is to show you what I did in real time as I was shooting the video uh, and I came across this problem, I was also able to find a solution to that. And um, I want to share that with uh, anybody who's out there who has problem connecting their keyboard to Mixcraft. And, and I hope that you'll also subscribe to the channel and, and hit the bell so that you'll get informed because I want to put some more videos on using the keyboard and the cool things that you can do with Mixcraft using a keyboard and including some uh, some customizing the the interface on your keyboard with Mixcraft. Right now take a look at the solution that I found to my problem with connecting the, the keyboard to the computer and to Mixcraft. Hi, today what I'm going to do is something a little bit different. This is a MIDI keyboard. This has no sounds of its own. It's, it's purely a MIDI keyboard and what I'm going to do is I haven't used this so I wanted to use this as an opportunity to show you how this will or will not interface with Mixcraft. So we'll see. All I'm going to do is uh, have a, a US, USB cable with, uh, it's got one of these on one end and uh, the USB connector that goes in the, in the back of the computer. So I'm going to plug this in and see what happens. Now you might notice on the screen I've got Audacity recording from this microphone and I've got this uh, display uh, showing me the camera view and I'm going to also see if I can record into Mixcraft using this Novation keyboard. So let's see. I'm going to plug this in the back of the computer if I can find a slot. I have a sheet over here which I, I use because uh, it, it just blocks some of the, the fan noise from, from the computer. Okay. Alright, let's keep that back there like that. Now I'm going to plug this, just plug this into the keyboard. Now when this is plugged in the keyboard will actually take power from the computer so I don't need to worry about having an additional power supply. Alright so I've got some lights on here. Alright and uh, I'm not sure if you heard that but I just heard recognition in the headphones that the computer has recognized there's a device here. I don't see anything to load. It's probably been connected to this before. I can't remember if I connected using this computer before. Maybe not actually. Okay, so I'm going to pull up uh, Mixcraft and see what happens. Mixcraft was unable to open your playback device with your current settings. Please be certain that your audio device sound device speakers etc et is plugged into your computer and is turned on now i may have an issue here because i'm running audacity already and i'm running the camera which shouldn't i don't think the camera is going to be uh, affecting it uh, i think the audacity will be affecting this so i may have to just turn off audacity and you're going to have to hear the audio coming from the camera so i'm going to do like i said I'm going to record, I'm going to take the recording directly from the camera. So I'm going to turn this off now and let's see if that has an effect. In fact, I'm going to shut down Mixcraft and then see if this is going to solve that problem. Let's try again. I'm going to load up Mixcraft. This time, hopefully, we won't have the same issue. So, I thought that Mixcraft was really good at picking up things like this. Now, it's interesting that this is turned on. Uh, now, I don't know if it's because I didn't turn something up. <coughs> let's see, what happens if I turn up? Uh, let's see. Turn this up. Master. All right, so it seems that I have some problem either with my computer or with the keyboard drivers, something like this. Now, what I'm doing here is I'm checking my device manager. There's something in here, it says uh, firmware 
system firmware and it's got this exclamation mark. If I click on that one, it says firmware is pending update on the next reboot, next system reboot firmware, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so let's see if that error goes away after I reboot and, and this may be something to do with the issue that I'm having with the system. After, after I rebooted, I still get this system firmware exclamation mark and I'm looking, I double clicked on this and I'm looking here and there's a, I tried the update driver. It says it's got the latest driver. So I'm going to try the rollback driver and see what that does. So it says, why are you rolling back? My apps don't work with this device. Let's see if that's going to do anything. Okay. And I don't see, okay, it says system firmware. I don't see that there is an exclamation anymore. All right, so let's click on that one. There's nothing coming through on the keyboard right now. Let's, let's fire up Mixcraft and see, see what happens. Now, let's take a look. Let's see if, uh, if I, oh, this is it. Found it. Okay, so I just, I just hit the keyboard right now and we're running. Voila. Okay. So I have not done anything in Mixcraft except I had the keyboard plugged in. If you have that issue with Mixcraft, then you might want to look at your devices. And the way I found that was uh, usually I go to the Windows start button uh, and, and you can type in, just type in hardware. Uh, you can't see that because I, I've, I, I'm, I'm only looking at a portion of my screen. Hardware. And then what it comes up with, there's a choice there, says device manager, click on that one. And then you get this and you can check in there to see if there are any issues with any part of your system. Now there is another one, Sonic Wall, but that's, that's nothing to do with, with this. And anyway, the problem seems to be solved. It was in here. It said firmware, system firmware, and I double clicked it and then there was some issue there. So what I did was I rolled it back instead of, instead of updating the driver. I tried that. It said it was the latest, but the latest was not working for some reason. So perhaps, perhaps because this is an older MIDI keyboard, I don't know. Right now it's working. So, so that's a good thing. All right. So I hope you found that useful. And again, I'd like to say, please subscribe. Hit the like button if you like this. Leave me a comment below. Stay tuned and I look forward to seeing you soon.